Who doesn't want the best product, right? So let's get started. Because in this video, we'll show the five best locks for parts on the market that will help you to choose the best one. For basic security on a budget, Master's 40T padlock will get the job done. The four pin cylinder used in the 40T lock is a lot easier to pick. While this lock will most likely stop casual thieves, it won't stop an experienced lock picker from accessing your pod. The key here is to consider the length of time you'll be storing your pod in your driveway and at a pod storage facility. Also, you always want to consider the value of the items you're moving. Outside of those considerations, the hardened steel shrouded shackle helps to prevent cutting attacks with bold cutters and the stainless steel body helps to prevent corrosion. Pros, stainless steel material to resist corrosion, key retaining to prevent leaving the padlock unlocked, shrouded hardened steel shackles. Cons, much easier to pick than the ABUS locks, more prone to rust issue than ABUS padlocks. Another good get the job done padlock from parts containers is Brinks disc lock. This lock has the same diameter shackle as the master lock disc lock and the same size body at 70mm. The only real difference between the two locks are the price, brand, and rubber jacket on the Brinks lock. If you're concentrated about stretching your pod or belongings, you may prefer this lock over the master version. All things considered, this lock is essentially the same as what master lock offers. So it really comes down to your preference. Pros, corrosion resistant stainless steel body and shackle, smooth operation, compatible with pods and U-Hauls. Cons, four pin cylinder, not very substantial at eight ounce. If you want the most secure disc lock for your pod, ABUS 20 by 80 models are your best bet. It provides 360 degree protection with its stainless steel exterior and interior. With this lock, you'll know you're getting years and years of rust-free use. Second, ABUS locks are made in Germany with no cheap or interior parts. Third, ABUS's Discus features its flagship ABUS Plus disc cylinder that provides the highest resistance to successful picking attacks of the lock in this guide. The final highlights are the key retaining design, the cylinder cover to protect the keyhole against the elements, the shroud shackle to prevent cutting, and the ABUS code card ensures no one is duplicating your key. Pros, ABUS 9x10 security score, resistance to corrosion, requires a unique code card to make duplicate keys. Cons, higher upfront cost. Another lock by ABUS that's worth consideration is ABUS 37x60 granite padlock. Unlike the larger 37x80 model, the 37x60 has a smaller shackle diameter to fit your pod. The black granite coating can take a real beating and stand up in the harshest weather conditions. Also, the removable shackle system operates differently than the key retaining discus lock. With this padlock, a thief must make two cuts to remove the lock body from the shackle, making this lock even more secure than the discus with a perfect 10x10 ABUS security score for padlocks. Lastly, the 37x60 is good for folks who want a maximum security lock for multiple uses. Pros, ABUS 10x10 security score includes a light key for clear nighttime access, ABUS plus disc cylinder. Cons, pricey. Commando padlocks are quickly becoming one of the favorites because they offer high security for the money. Unlike the master lock and Brinks disc locks above, this lock features a 10 pin cylinder that's a heck of a lot more secure than a four pin cylinder. Next, the zinc plate carbon steel body is highly resistant to corrosion which makes this lock useful for outdoor applications once you finish using your pod. Its locks are made in the USA to meet US military standards. Pros, the 10 pin cylinder is harder to pick than the four pin cylinder, excellent resistant to corrosion, rubber bumpers to avoid scratches and rattling. Cons, exposed shackle. That's all for today guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon for regular updates and I'll see you in the next video and stay safe, take care.